We got Benavides coming up with Uscategui. Uh, who do you got on that one? Benavides all day. Benavides all day. He's long. He can punch. He's fast. He's strong. I got Benavides all day. You think that it'll be a knockout there? Yes, definitely. Uh, Munguia and Rosado. Uh, November 13th also, the same day. Rosado, I don't know um, all the wars. I love his spirit. I love his game. Um, I'm a root for him because I, I like him. I, you know, I want him to win. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a warrior. I love warriors. I love dogs. And uh, he comes to fight. So um, I'm going for him. Last week we had a uh, big showdown between what many didn't know or they do know now is uh, Sander Martin versus Mikey Garcia. What's your take on that fight? A lot of people saw it as very close. A lot of people saw it as, you know, maybe uh, Mikey winning by a slight. It, was, it could have gone either way. What do you think? Sando Martin outpointed him. Sando Martin is a more active fighter, per se. Um, with that fight, Sandor Martin lost to Anthony Yigit. We beat Anthony Yigit. Anyways, back to them. Sandor Martin did a great job. He won the fight. You understand? I think Mikey Garcia, Robert Garcia, those guys are great boxing family. I feel like they have their little tactics of raising their hands after every round to try to sell the judges. But real judges, you can't sell them. Same thing with the Jackson Marinas fight. After he survives certain rounds, you start raising him because you survived the round, not because you win him. Mikey Garcia versus Earl Spence. What did he do? Put his hands up. He lost every single round. Come on, bro. So you knowing boxing, you knowing the crowd, you knowing the judges, and you trying to celebrate, even though you didn't win a round, that's old now. Sandor Martin did his job and handled his business. He won fair and square.